So how a zip message looks like. Here we have an example of a zip invite message. As you can see, it's just a basic text file with some parameters. This is an example of a zip invite and all the call initializations will, will start with uh, this kind of zip message. As we can see, the protocol used is TCP and the server that is uh, sending uh, we are sending this same message is client.atlanta.example.com Also we can see that it's using the port 5060 which is typically the default port for TCP SIP connections Typically an invite will include a session description protocol file abbreviated SDP that we can see at the bottom of the text. The SDP part contains information about the media such as the session, media type, or codex to be used. For more information, you can reach the WebRTC Hacks uh, link and learn a bit more about uh, how the SDP looks like. So, uh, what kind of zip message responses we can get. Uh, similar to what we have in, on web, when we get a 404 for example, we have the, kind, the same kind of, uh, or very, a very similar uh, kind of responses from a zip server uh, and a user agent. So when we are getting uh, some kind of response that starts with the one uh, it's a provisional response, for example, 180, which was a trying message, a ringing. Um, then we have the two, uh, which indicates a successful response, as we knew, we learned before. Uh, 200 OK, for example, uh, indicates that the request is successful. Then we have the three, which is a redirection, four, client failure, five, a server failure, and six, a global failure. Um, these uh, are some numbers, some, this first digit uh, would, should be something that you uh, have in mind when debugging SIP messages.